Hey everyone, I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial about how to bring a SketchUp model into Revit without losing any of the material information contained within the model. Uh, this process is really quick and simple, so after you've seen this video, you should be able to model something in SketchUp really quick and importing into Revit with ease. So you're going to need a couple of things for this uh, tutorial. The first thing you're going to need is SketchUp, which is where you're going to be modeling your object to bring into Revit. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm using SketchUp Pro 2018, but any other version of SketchUp should work fine. Uh, the second thing you're going to need is Formit, which is a program that's available for, for free from Autodesk. Uh, when you go to the website and download the installer, it should install both a standalone application and the Revit plugin at the same time. And of course, the last thing you're going to need is Revit. Uh, for this process to work, you're going to have to have Revit 2018 or 2019. Revit 2017 and below doesn't support this process uh, currently. So it's probably in your best interest just to have Revit 2018 or 19. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is open up SketchUp and model an object that you want to bring into Revit. For this tutorial, I've modeled this simple reception desk with a uh, very simple geometry it features one wood texture, which is located in, in the middle of the reception desk. So uh, after you've modeled something, go ahead and save the, uh, the file. So I've created the folder on my desktop, so it's just easy for me to find the a file later on. Go ahead and save the file. I've saved it with today's date and the words reception desk, and it's just going to be a regular SketchUp file. So after I've saved that SketchUp file, I'm going to go ahead and open up Formit. And once you open up Formit, go ahead and go over to the top left and hit File. Go down to Import and click on Import 3D Model. Go back to that folder where you saved your reception desk earlier. And then click on the SketchUp file. And the SketchUp file should import into Formit with the material still attached. As you can see, the, the wood grain is still there. so. That means that the, the model is working correctly. So after you've checked out your model and made sure that it imported correctly, left click it so it's highlighted and then right click it so that this wheel pops up. Um, you're you're going to want to look for the icon on the top left that says edit group. Go ahead and click that and these two options should appear on the right. Click down on the option that says category and change it from mass to generic models. After that, go over to the left hand side of the screen and hit the check mark and finish group edit. After that, you're done working in Formit. Go ahead and go to the top left, hit file, uh, go down to save sketch as, save locally, and just go ahead and save that uh, this file into the same folder you saved your sketch of file in. So I've gone ahead and just named the file reception desk and it's going to be the default format file which is .axm. So after you've gone ahead and saved that, go ahead and open up Revit and open up your project. So this is my project right here. Um, this is my reception area and I want to see how that reception desk fits into the space. Um, so to import that format file into Revit, go ahead and go over to the add-ins tab at the top. And once you uh, click on that, you should see the two format icons. Um, the button on the left by default should say convert RFA to format but if you click the little arrow uh, arrow button right here this menu should pop up and you can click import format to RVT go ahead and click that option and this window should pop up where you should be able to select that format file that you saved earlier so open that file up and what that does is it will bring the format model into Revit as a family so now click on the architecture tab and hit the component tool. And you can see on the left hand side that the format uh, model is loaded. Go ahead and drop that, uh, that model in onto your floor plan. And to make sure that it's working, I'm going to create a 3D view that just shoots right at the reception desk just to make sure that all the materials work. So I'm going to open up this view a little bit so I can get a better look. And you're going to want to go down and change the visual style from hidden line to realistic. 
So as you can see here, the Revit model or the SketchUp model is imported with the wood grain texture still attached. So I'm pretty sure with this uh, this process, it will make importing things from SketchUp to Revit a lot easier, especially if you want materials to show up in your models. Um, there are a couple things to note though. Um, once you've imported this model into Revit, you can't change any of the materials inside of Revit. So if, if you try to use the, uh, the paint tool right here, you can't select the, uh, the model at all. So you can't change any materials on it. Um, I've also tried opening up the family. So you can actually op open this, uh, this family type up and paint it from the inside. But once you paint it on the inside and you save the file back into this, uh, this project, the, the changes won't occur. So the only way for the for you to apply the materials is to do it initially while you're still in SketchUp. So before you import anything to Revit, make sure that all the materials that you want are on the SketchUp model before you import it. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys have any other questions, please don't ask me because I don't know anything else. But if you have any questions about anything that I've said in this video, go ahead and let me know and I can probably help you guys out. Thanks for watching.